Is the West closing its doors to Indian students? Western countries once courted Indian students to boost their economies, but now they're shutting the door on them. As immigration policies tighten, dreams of studying abroad are being shattered, leaving students and Western nations alike to face the consequences. Watch the latest episode of Threadbare on India Today Global to find out more. For decades, Western nations such as the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand have been popular destinations for Indian students. Attracted by high-quality education, better career prospects, and a chance to live in first-world countries, Indian students have been flocking to these regions in droves. However, recent developments have triggered a significant shift in immigration and educational policies, which has led many to question whether the West is closing its doors to Indian students. The historic relationship between Indian students and Western education The relationship between Indian students and the West has been mutually beneficial. Western universities have long relied on international students, especially from India, to fill classrooms, contribute financially, and bring diverse perspectives to campus life. In return, Indian students have gained access to world-class educational opportunities, paving the way for better career prospects and often permanent residency in these countries. Indian students, second only to Chinese students in numbers, have become a vital part of the Western educational ecosystem. In the UK, Canada, and Australia, they make up a significant portion of the international student body. For example, in 2022, Canada saw a surge in the number of Indian students, surpassing 200,000, while Australia reported similar figures. These students are not just learners, they are contributors to these economies, with tuition fees, living expenses, and other financial inputs playing a crucial role in the financial sustainability of many educational institutions. Tightening immigration policies, a growing concern the once welcoming stance of these countries is changing. Immigration policies in the UK, Canada, Australia, and other Western nations have been growing more stringent, posing significant challenges for international students, especially from countries like India. The post-COVID period has seen a tightening of rules regarding student visas, work permits, and pathways to permanent residency. In the UK, the government has introduced restrictions on work visas for international students, limiting the number of hours they can work and making it harder for them to stay in the country after completing their studies. Similarly, Australia has been tightening its rules around skilled migration, leading to concerns about the future of Indian students in the country. The graduate route visa in the UK, which previously offered a clear path to work after graduation, is now under scrutiny, with changes likely to affect thousands of students. Canada, too, despite its traditionally more lenient approach, is beginning to implement more restrictive immigration policies. In recent months, there have been growing concerns about the country's backlog of visa applications, with many Indian students reporting long delays and rejections. The Post-Graduation Work Permit Program, PGWP, which allows students to stay and work in Canada after their studies, is also being reviewed, raising fears of future restrictions. Impact on Indian students' dreams of studying abroad For many Indian students, studying in the West has always been about more than just education. It's about securing a better future, gaining access to high-quality jobs, and potentially achieving permanent residency. However, the tightening immigration policies are putting these dreams in jeopardy. Indian students are facing increasing uncertainty about their future in Western countries. For example, students who once had the opportunity to stay and work in the UK after graduation are now unsure if they will have the same opportunities. Those studying in Canada may face longer visa processing times and increased scrutiny on their applications, making it harder to plan their future careers. The consequences of these changes are far-reaching. Many students who have already invested substantial amounts of money in tuition fees and living expenses are now left questioning whether they made the right decision. Additionally, those hoping to send remittances home to their families, a key factor in the decision to study abroad, are finding it harder to find job opportunities after graduation. The West's motivations for restricting international students So why are Western nations tightening their immigration policies, particularly towards Indian students? There are several factors at play. One key issue is domestic employment concerns. In countries like the UK, local unemployment rates and job market concerns have led to a growing emphasis on prioritizing jobs for citizens and permanent residents. As international students often compete for jobs with locals, there has been political pressure to limit their access to work opportunities. Moreover, the rise of populism and nationalistic sentiments in Western countries has fueled anti-immigration rhetoric. 
Governments in these nations, particularly in the post-Brexit UK, are increasingly focused on limiting the influx of foreigners, including international students, to address voter concerns about cultural integration and economic strain. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has played a significant role in reshaping immigration policies. The economic fallout from the pandemic has led to a reassessment of immigration strategies, with many countries now focusing on protecting their economies by limiting the number of incoming foreign nationals, including students. Consequences for Western economies and institutions While these restrictive immigration policies may be aimed at protecting domestic interests, they could have significant negative consequences for Western economies and educational institutions. Universities in the UK, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand rely heavily on the income generated by international students, particularly from India. With tuition fees for international students often two or three times higher than for domestic students, these institutions depend on foreign students to maintain their budgets and offer a wide range of programs. If the flow of Indian students decreases, Western universities may face severe financial difficulties. A decline in the number of international students could result in fewer programs, staff layoffs, and reduced investment in research and development. Additionally, the loss of diverse perspectives in the classroom could diminish the global reputation of these universities. From an economic standpoint, restricting the number of Indian students could have broader consequences. International students contribute significantly to local economies through housing, living expenses, and employment. Reducing their numbers could harm sectors such as real estate, hospitality, and retail in cities that have become dependent on the influx of foreign students. The future of Indian students in the West Despite the challenges posed by tighter immigration policies, Indian students are likely to continue pursuing opportunities in the West. However, they may need to adapt to the changing landscape by exploring new pathways and destinations. For example, some may consider less traditional study destinations like Germany or the Netherlands, where immigration policies may be more favorable. In the long term, Western countries may need to reconsider their stance. With rapidly aging populations, nations like the UK and Canada will require a continuous influx of young, skilled workers to sustain their economies. International students, particularly from India, will remain a key source of this talent pool. If Western nations close their doors to Indian students, they may find it difficult to fill the gaps in their labor markets, 